Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Devotion. It's Friday, March 26, 2021. And here we are at the end of March already. Let me tell you, time flies as you get older, and especially when you're on the hooks to do a devotion each week. Big shout out to my friend Eric for providing the intro clip of the Pacific Ocean. That is a view near Carmel, California. For those of you out there in social media land who were around in the 70s and the 80s, it was on this date in 1979 that the Larry Bird and Magic Johnson rivalry began. When Michigan State Spartans beat the Indiana State Sycamores for the national championship. That game is still the most watched championship game in history. Last week we learned about being in the arena and we looked at the last section of chapter 10 where the writer encouraged the, re- encouraged the readers. In verse 32, he closed chapter 10 with, But we are not among those who shrink back to destruction, but of those who have faith for the safekeeping of the soul. Not those who shrink back, but have faith. This last verse in chapter 10 provides the segue into one of the the most famous Bible chapters, Bible chapters you've probably ever heard of. It's called the Faith Hall of Fame or the Great Faith Chapter. That's Hebrews chapter 11. Here at the beginning of chapter 11, the writer defines or describes for us what faith is. It says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Verse 1 describes faith. The word assurance means a confident belief, a confident belief or trust in a person, place, or thing. We put our faith in people and things multiple times a day. Anytime you get in a car, you're putting your faith, your confident belief or trust that the other people will stay in their lane. They'll yield the right away. If you're a passenger, you put your faith in the hands of those who are driving. You're putting your faith in the vehicle itself to perform, your brakes to work. Although you can't go down to the store and buy a pound of faith, everybody has faith and everybody exercises their faith every day. Verse 2 seems a little strange. It's like a strange statement. For by it the people of old received their commendation. What does that mean? Well, an example of this is found in Genesis chapter 15 and verse 6. This is where Abraham believes God that he will have a son. And it is because of his belief, his faith, that God credited it to him as righteousness. The writer then declares that it is by faith that we understand that everything seen and unseen was created by the word of God. We cannot get in our DeLorean time machine and go back and witness the creation. We have to have faith that God indeed did speak the universe into existence. Let's take a quick look at Genesis chapter 1 and see what it says. It says, In the beginning God, and God said, Let there be light. Let there be an expanse, that's the heavens. Let there be dry land, that's the earth. Let the earth sprout, that's plants. Let there be lights to divide the expanse, that's the sun and the moon. And it's almost like an afterthought. In Genesis 1.16, he says, He made the stars also. Let the living creatures, that's the animals. And then on day six, the Bible says, Let us make man in our own image. It is by faith that you believe God created the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that in them is. One of my most favorite conversations in the Bible is from John chapter 3. That's where Jesus and Nicodemus are talking. It's the scene where Jesus is explaining to Nicodemus that you must be born again. And Nicodemus is on the struggle bus. He's just not understanding what Jesus has to say. Let's pick it up in verse 9. It says, Nicodemus responded to him and said, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said, You are the teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and testify of what we have seen. And you people do not accept our testimony. If I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Did you catch that in verse 12? 
How can you believe me about things you can't see in heaven, eternal salvation of your soul, when you don't even believe me about the things that you see here on earth? So, we bore, so before we move through the Faith Hall of Fame in chapter 11, let's learn a few things about faith. The word faith is found over 400 times in the Bible. Where does faith come from? Romans 10, 17 tells us, So faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Jesus can see faith. If you look in Matthew 9, 2, And they brought to him a paralyzed man lying on a stretcher, and seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man who was paralyzed, Take courage, son, your sins are forgiven. Faith brings peace. Romans 5, 1, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Faith makes us children of God. You can see that in Galatians 3.26. For you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. It's fruit. Galatians 5.22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Faith produces good works. James 2.26. For just as the body without the Spirit is dead... So also, without, so also is faith without works is dead. It says in two places in the gospel that Jesus was amazed. First, he was amazed by the great faith of the Roman centurion in Matthew 8. And the second place occurred in his hometown of Nazareth, when he was amazed by the unbelief of the people in Mark chapter 6. Be a good soldier and have great faith like this in centurion. In the end, as you journey down this long road of disciple becoming, your faith in Christ will manifest itself as obedience to God's word, despite the consequences. I hope to see you here on Sunday. If you're out of town on spring break, check us out online. Our service times are 9 and 1030. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next week on Good Friday. Bye-bye.